Hey guys, before we start, this is not sponsored. I just wanted to give a shout out to my cousin and her husband's company. He is a dentist and he invented an electric flosser. I've been using it for like a month now and I'm obsessed. I feel like my teeth get so much cleaner this way and I've always had trouble flossing because my teeth are tight together but the little vibrations on this make it slip through that much easier. They've got these patented gum sweepers which get into the deepest parts of your teeth and it really does feel so much more clean and convenient. So their Kickstarter ends in three days if you're looking for an awesome Christmas present. Definitely go check them out. I'll put the link in the description, but it is Slate Electric Flosser and I'm so excited for them. Okay, let's get to the show. Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always so much for being here. Tonight I am watching a war movie. I've been wanting to watch this one since I've started the channel in honor of November 11th, which in Canada we celebrated Remembrance Day in America, Veterans Day. I did a war movie poll on Patreon and this one won barely over Good Morning Vietnam, which I hope to watch soon. I am watching Dunkirk. I feel like there's mixed reviews on this. Some people said it's the greatest movie they've ever seen and some people didn't like it at all. I did do some very preliminary research about Dunkirk before going into this, not about the movie, but about the event. So I'm hoping that'll be helpful. I know it's Christopher Nolan. I know Harry Styles is in it, I think. I am sure it's gonna be heavy because it's a warm movie, but I've said before, there's no one more surprised than me on how much I've enjoyed the war genre of TV shows and everything I've watched has been inspiring, meaningful to me, and it has been a while since I've watched this genre. So I'm excited to go back in, even though I know going into these types of movies that they're gonna wreck me and I'm gonna be so sad and before I had this channel, I would avoid that feeling at all costs. But what I've come to realize is that when a story or event or a movie can make that emotion come out of you, that must mean it is worth seeing. So I am apprehensively looking forward to this movie. Okay, let's get started. have driven the British and French armies to the sea. Trapped at Dunkirk, they await their fate, hoping for deliverance. Why is it so quiet? <gasps> oh my gosh! Hide! Where is it all coming from? I'm English! English! I'm English! I'm English! I'm English! I'm English! I'm English! So, at like any point, could they just bomb the beach and they would be done for? Grenadiers, mate. Number one, the mole, one week. They're just standing there, and whoever's just in the wrong place at the wrong time is just- Where's the bloody air force? That will never just not haunt me that one second you're alive to the sea one day, okay? <laughs> the Navy's requisitioned her atop the stripper and load those life jackets. Some men across the channel at Dunkirk need taking off. 
Oh wow, so they're just commandeering civilians' boats to go there one hour. One week, one day, one hour. Is that Tom Hardy? So they're boarding the injured first. Is this their friend? Oh my gosh, there's so many on that ship. Ready on the start! They're not gonna make it. Not again. I could not live with that kind of fear. Do those two know each other or did they just meet each other for that first time? This music! What are you waiting on the Navy? The nice for the moon, still in the lava. And her captain. And this son. You do know where we're going, France. Into war, George. I'll be useful, sir. He's going. They're gonna go to Dunkirk. And Hitler, the God. They're not gonna let them stay on? Are they only taking the medics right now? One of ours, George! It sounds like that plane is falling apart. And my mom doing a <gasps> You got him? Clip. Is he down? Yeah, he's down for the count. <laughs> For this leader, one bandit down. For this leader, I have no eyes on for this leader. One bit for a leg. They're trying to sneak back on. Colonel, you're going to have to decide how many more wounded to evacuate. One stretcher takes the space of seven standing men. How can anyone make that decision to choose who lives and who dies? We need to get our army back. Britain's next, and then the rest of the world. You can practically see it from here. Churchill wants 30,000. Rams is hoping we can give him 45. There are 400,000 men on this beach, so we'll just have to do our best. <gasps> right, all this mall stays open at all costs. There's 400,000 on the beach. <gasps> That's the plane that went down? Or is that their leader? Rackets below. Let's throw this leader over. So it is the enemy they have on board their ship. Port is true, what's your fuel? 50 gallons, over. Uh, keep letting me know. My gauge thing would have been not right there. Did you turn back? No, no, I'm fairly confident it's just a gauge. I don't know if we should risk that. <sighs> My heart is beating. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. There's just nothing they can do. They're so helpless. ship's gonna sink right now? That's where all the wounded are? That's Harry. That boat went down so fast. This feels so... Bad. It feels like no one has any hope. They can all just feel how defenseless they are on this beach. Uh, take a blanket. Don't you go put this on, my love. Keep going down. Take a blanket. How are they organizing this? How do they choose who gets to stay on the beach and who gets a boat? Try 
show me your friend. He's looking for a quick way out in case we go down. He doesn't want to be locked inside underneath in case what happens to the last ship. Where are we going? Down Kirk. I'm not going back. Look at it. If we go there, we'll die. Well, let's plot a course. Even taking tape out in the room up. He just came from Dunkirk? Was he the pilot? Is he a coward, Mr. Dawson? He's shell shock, George. He's not himself. He may never be himself again. Why is he locking him in there? 11 o'clock. She's lining up to drop her load on that minesweeper. I'm on the bomber. He sounds so calm. Oh, I'm on the bomber. Is there just these two planes? Like, where is everyone else? That plane's trying to drop a bomb on that boat, so that other plane is trying to get that plane before he can do it. Right? Where's he, Scott? <gasps> is he okay? I can't tell who's who. I'm on him, bail out. Bail out? Like eject yourself? Into the ocean? I have a 12 inch scoop, I'm ditching. Oh my gosh! Oh, open the door! This is a nightmare! Oh my gosh! I can't! They're all just gonna drown in there? Please, please, please! I can't! This is horrifying! I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine. Good fires, George. Greatest plane ever built. Sweetest sound you could hear out here. You open the door. Why is he doing that? Hear me? If you don't lock him in, let him out for God's sake. You haven't turned her on. We have a job to do. And a man your age? Men my age dictate this war. Why should we be allowed to send our children to fight it? You should be at home! Well, there won't be any home if we allow a slaughter across the channel. This tactile, I'm gonna get it off him. What's your fuel? You're at 15 gallons. 15 gallons and he still has to go back. Why did he stop talking? How are they gonna pick him up? Oh, this is so stressful on so many levels. But for them the most, I think. No. <gasps> Don't you dare! You set up the boat of your panic boys. The water's not too rough or too cold. This is him. You men of the water float here. We'll come back for you. That's the guy that they picked up. So this happened before. This was the one week timeline. I'm just gonna leave him. Coming back. Turn it around. I'm not turning around. Turn it around! George, have you done? I, am. Okay. I can't take this movie. George, he wasn't even supposed to be on the boat. Ah, that sound. about his fuel. E for enough. He's gonna make it. Oh no. Is that guy after him? They made it back. Those three? Back to where they started. Oh, he's so cold. What's he doing? It's okay. When the water comes in. The tide's turning now. How can you tell? Bodies come back. This is beyond depressing. Well, it's rounded. Not a tight position, 
Everyone's just desperately trying to find a way off, but even then it doesn't mean you're safe. They'll just get you when you're out in the water. I told my dad I've done nothing that's cool, and that I would do something one day. Maybe get in the local paper. I need you back up on deck as soon as you're able. What? I can't see. This was the one hour? He's turning back? Home? Like, where are the officials? Where's a plan being made? Where are the destroyers? After yesterday's losses, it's one ship on the mole at a time. The battle is here. What the hell are they saving them for? The next battle, the one from Britain. Same with the planes. Oh my gosh. There, vanquisher. That's a big one. That's a destroyer. They've got one coming for 400,000 men. Because they're saving it for when the Germans invade Britain. It's bad, Dad. Should we turn back? We've come so far. Dad, is that one of ours? We'll go for that mine sweep. Should we stand by to pick up survivors? We have to survive ourselves. Hold your head out. See if the water's coming. Talk it if so, don't you? It's been fired! Got it, got it! This is from earlier, right? That we saw. Smoke from the Spitfire! Watch for a parachute! Oh gosh. I'm confused at our times. He doesn't have a gun. Are you German? No, no, it's, it's pick you up. Why did you leave your boat? Wait for the tide. We came back. The time must be in. More hours till we float. That's so heavy, we're not left. <laughs> So this is another civilian coming to help them? Hello, oh, this is from earlier. He's gonna be okay, right? He's okay, he's okay, he's okay. Is he okay? Oh, he's okay. He's gone, there's no shoot. He's probably dead. Tell me, are you, you Peter, are you? Baby alive, baby. He's alive. There's gotta be some kind of tool they have in there to crack the window, right? Oh, a gun. Oh, this is claustrophobic. Is that good or bad? How are they gonna plug it? <laughs> Could he get shot in the face? Oh my gosh. Somebody needs to get off. Well, for the tears. I know someone who ought to get off. He's a German spy. If you know he still hasn't said a word, you're daft. Tell him. He saved them all. He opened the door. Frosty. Excuse me, Frosty. Bloody frog. Who's Gibson, eh? He's at least had the decency to bury you. I helped him. I thought it was his mate. He was just looking for a way off the sand like the rest of us. Okay, I thought you were nice. Don't do this. This is not right. This is not okay. Okay, we're Lord of the Flying on each other. They're gonna sink. This is not okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. Oh my heavens. Oh, so many bombs. Oh. Every ship, every ship is sinking. Taking fire. I'm breaking through the jinx and ease. This is it. They gotta get out of there. I think it's too late to plug the holes. They gotta get out. They get all these people on a boat and then one bomb. What does he see? What is it? Home. the civilian boats coming to help. That's 
their first glimmer of hope this whole time. It really is so sweet. We went into a war to pick up their boys. I still don't know if there's gonna be enough. No. No. There's blood in the water! That's his friend, right? That's... Oh my gosh, they're not gonna be able to take them all. who could get out of that boat, who drowned. Stop it! Every ship! We have to get as many as we on board as we can before that oil catches fire. Oh, oh, careful down there! He's dead, mate. So be bloody careful with him. Okay. Yeah. Ah, we're back to hopeless. They're swimming to a boat that's going down. This is very hard to watch. Stuff anyway. My son was running you, lot. I knew he'd see us through. My brother. We flew hurricanes and died third week into the war. Mm. Please let him be okay. Stay downstairs, please. We just want to see the clips. Sit down. That's Dorset. It's home. We got you all down, didn't we? in the eye. Churchill got us 30,000. And then some, almost 300,000. So far. So far. I'm staying for the French. He's 
good man. Are we spitting us in the streets? They're not locked up waiting for the invasion. Why didn't he check? His wheels won't go down? Can't get home. He just wanted to get his name in the paper, he said. <laughs> we shall defend our island whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight in the fields, and in the streets. We shall never surrender. Part of it was subjugated and starving, would carry on the struggle until a new world with all its power and might was forced to the rescue and the liberation of the old. He was captured. <sighs> I'm sorry. I've cried in like the last five million. That was really intense, really hard to watch at some points. It took me a while to figure out the timing and how we are seeing different timelines play out. I liked the way that they did that. So much of it felt so helpless. I think that's on purpose because of course that's how they must have felt waiting to be evacuated on the beach. There was so little talking. I know that was also a choice and to focus more on the feelings and the what you're seeing and the music but it gives us less emotional connection to the characters but i still definitely felt some it's crazy that this was just the beginning it's not like we got that closure at the end like it was the end of the war like america hadn't even joined the war at this point right they all just were so young and so scared i'm just so thankful for the strong and brave men of that time and today's time. I really liked the scenes that were in the air. I haven't seen much from that viewpoint of war. I just keep thinking about some of the scenes where they're swimming toward boats that are then sunk and then the ones where they're sinking and you can hear everyone trying to get out underneath. They definitely did not show like the blood and injuries of the war as much as other films, but drowning and the on fire, it was all very hard to watch still. The scene where we see all the small little leisure boats coming was very emotional and inspiring and hopeful. I really loved that part. And I really want that to be true. That they came, answered the call to come and help evacuate. And the story of George was so heartbreaking. When the boy decided to tell the soldier that he was going to be okay. Oh man. Overall, I enjoyed it a lot. How it was filmed and done in a different way than others that I've seen. Even though I did miss some of like the character development with the lack of dialogue. But it was very touching, inspiring, eye-opening. Thank you so much for watching along with me. Thank you again to all who have fought and continue to fight for our freedoms. You are all true heroes. So thank you again and